everyone. I wanted to talk to you today about how I clean and dry my brushes. I don't think there's anything new in how I clean them, so I'm gonna go through that fairly quickly to not bore you. You might pick up a tip or two, but I think it's more in the drying. So I have three different ways that I clean my brushes, and it just depends on the mood that I'm in. One is I take olive oil and baby shampoo. So I take the brush, swirl it around in the olive oil. Oils break down makeup, so this gets the makeup all broken down. Rinse it and then swirl it into some baby shampoo to clean off the olive oil and clean out the last of the makeup. If necessary, if the brush is really dirty, I repeat this. Until it's clean, I always have a ton of paper towels with me and make sure that I get all of the moisture out possible before I put on one of the little brush sleeves. You can get these at Walmart, very inexpensive, and you never think they're gonna fit because they look so tiny. The brush, it's amazing how big this expands to these little nets, but that keeps your brush in really good condition. The second method I use is a liquid soap, which is the Dr. Bronner's, which I like okay. I got this, I like my brushes to smell nice when I'm done, so I got this one in almond. It does smell nice, I just, don't feel like it breaks down as well as olive oil and baby shampoo. Um, this one is okay, but I don't think it's my favorite method. And you do the exact same thing where I swirl it in the Dr. Bronner's until it's very, very clean. Make sure you've got all the soap out. And after you've rinsed it again, dry it on a paper towel before you put on one of the brush sleeves. The third method is a bar soap. And I, again, like something that smells nice. I got this bar soap from my dollar store. I absolutely love it. I love having it in this container because as it gets wet, I can take the soap out and it has ridges in the bottom and I can use that as my base for rubbing my brush in to get them clean and before I rinse them. It does get quite dirty, it's plastic, it rinses out really easily. I can put the soap back in, start swirling it on there. Once it accumulates, keep using the bottom. I actually think this is the most fun and easy method for me. Um, it makes it more enjoyable for me to use this method for cleaning my brushes. So whatever method you use to clean, then the key is drying. A lot of them have those trees that you see where you can put your brush in and it hangs it that's great because it keeps the ferrule dry that's exactly what the purpose is so what I do instead I was considering getting one of those but I just didn't like the idea of having this big thing sitting out on my counter I wanted something that I could put out of the way up so I was talking to Mark trust a guy to come up with a simple and yet very effective solution you need a clothes hanger and an elastic band. So I wrap all of my clean brushes up in the elastic band to hold them together and then scooch it onto the hanger and hang this up on a door. And if I have a lot of brushes, I will do two or three different bunches in the elastic bands, put them all onto the same hanger. If you have to use two hangers and just hang them up somewhere, either at a space in your closet or on a door and they're out of the way and ready for you the next morning. So as always, I love hearing from you. How do you make your brush cleaning less painful so you don't mind doing it? What are your tips and tricks for me and everybody else? Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I hope you have a fantastic day and we'll talk to you next time.